There is a dangerous new generative AI tool that allows users to create sophisticated phishing attacks, hack into entire databases, and steal your personal information, man. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how you can protect yourself. This is WormGBT. So, without further ado, man, cyber criminals are increasingly using generative AI tools such as WormGBT, a dedicated malware model to send highly convincing fake emails to organizations, allowing them to bypass security measures. Again, WormGBT allows hackers to create emails that can bypass security measures. That is absolutely crazy. A new wave of highly convincing fake emails is hitting unsuspecting employees tool is basically optimized for cyber crimes such as business email compromise and that is a huge thing right now before even before artificial intelligence business email compromise you all have probably gotten fake emails from businesses just random fake emails from businesses asking for your credit card information or asking you to sign up for something they're most likely a scam and you guys already know about that but worm gbt is making it way way easier for these criminals and it's helping them bypass security measures which is absolutely insane this method introduces a stark implication. Attackers, even those lacking fluency in particular languages, are more capable than ever of fabricating persuasive emails for phishing and BEC attacks, which is absolutely crazy, man. And as you can see here, man, WormGBT is essentially optimized for online fraud. So, man, at a basic level, WormGBT is an open source, unsupervised learning system just based off of ChatGPT. While ChatGPT is closed sourced and supervised. WormGPT does not require human assistance in order to learn, while ChatGPT does require human feedback. This is a huge difference and it has implications for the scope of creativity available for each system. WormGPT can generate novel content that has never been seen before, while ChatGPT is limited by the data that has already been seen and cannot go beyond what it knows. So, WormGPT can essentially think for itself, is basically what I'm hearing. Why does this matter, man? While the rise of AI technology has presented a wide range of possibilities, also carries a risk as malicious attackers can use it for bad, WormGBT is significant because it makes it much easier to create realistic attacks at scale. That is another huge thing, man, at scale. So they can send out 100, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 emails with the click of a button. And if they get like five people to click on that, the email out of 5,000, they just they just won man the hackers just won the hackers won it's a 5,000 email and only five people click on it they took a dub man so this is absolutely scary they can send out their attacks at large scale enabling cybercrime on a larger level so this is just an example of how this can be used in an email scam it says dear blank i hope this email finds you well i need you to take care of a pressing matter that i must ask you to prioritize above any other current subjects I need you to pay an invoice urgently. So bam, man, if you have an email sent to you asking you to pay an invoice urgently and you do not recognize the email sender, just delete the email, man. It is most likely a phishing scam. It could be worm GPT or it could just be the old, good old fashioned phishing scam from the, the random hackers. I don't know. But without further ado, man, we're going to talk about how you protect yourself from phishing scams. So jumping right into it you are already on step one man being knowledgeable of these scams and being knowledgeable of worm gpt you are already a step ahead of the curve man now you know what to look out for man basically anything related to your personal information <clears throat> worm gpt can be used to scam you through your personal information man also if you click on the worm gpt app they will steal your personal information off your computer so you know that already man look out in your emails for phishing scams and do not try to search for worm gpt because they can steal your information off of your computer in addition companies can take other preventative security measures like staying abreast of the latest attack vectors like i said man staying knowledgeable utilizing multi-factor authentication and implementing access control measures those are a few things that you can do to combat worm gpt by following these best practices businesses can maximize protection against malicious applications of this advanced form of generative ai technology so bam, man, stay knowledgeable, use multi-factor authentication, and you will be safe, man. Without further ado, I wanted this to be a quick video on WormGPT. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like a longer video. This is Creator Quam. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, man. Please, I hope you all stay safe out there. Do not get scammed. Nobody on the Creator Quam family is going to get scammed.
I'm just putting that out there in the universe. This is the Creator Plant family on the road to 5K, 10K next. Thank you all. I love you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. The CEO of ChatGPT OpenAI. So, front end, back end, full stack. So, would it be $7,136,000?